Tomorrow, Vice President Mike Pence will be in Jacksonville to talk about crucial trade talks with Canada and Mexico. Jacksonville will be the first stop on his tour as he takes the administration's fight to the American people. He will fly in NAS Jacksonville to meet with sailors sometime a little after 11, and then he'll speak to supporters at the Schultz Center. Vice President Pence will stop by the Schultz Center on the south side. The primary message he will bring here is replacing the North America Free Trade Agreement, or NAFTA. One thing the Trump administration has done in just the past week has been to ease some trade restrictions on Canada and Mexico. News for Jack's political analyst Rick Mullaney says there are reasons for this. He's got negotiations on a couple different fronts. One is with China, and then, of course, ongoing negotiations with Mexico and with Canada. And I think the easing of the tariffs with Mexico and Canada is designed to pave the way for the new agreement here in North America. But it's also sort of not to have a two front negotiations going on when he's involved in such intense negotiations with China. A new deal with the two countries also needs congressional approval and could impact key industries in Jacksonville. One being the auto industry. Think of all the cars that ship in and out of Jacksport. The other being the aviation industry. This could be an even bigger issue locally as the industry in Florida is crucial to international trade. Coming up all new tomorrow on the morning show news for Jack's reporter Zach Lajway will look at the impact on the aviation industry and conflicting opinions on whether the Trump trade plan will harm or help local industry.